Better than expected earnings and revenues from Alcoa tonight. After the closing bell, the aluminum giant said it earned three cents a share in the third quarter. Analysts were expecting break-even results. Revenues also topped estimates at $5.8 billion, but that was below last year's level. The company repeated its forecast that aluminum demand will double between now and 2020. Now, Alcoa is the first Dow component to report earnings and is considered a bellwether of how the economy is faring. The stock barely budged in the regular session, uh, closing at $9.13 a share and was up a few pennies in after hours trading. And we're happy to have with us now Alcoa CEO Klaus Kleinfeld. And Klaus, welcome back to Nightly Business Report. Great seeing you. Um, based on how Alcoa did in the third quarter, how do you think business will, will be for you in the, for the rest of this year and going into 2013? Well, uh, it's, it's a, a mixed world out there. There's a lot of volatility. We see in our end markets and we've confirmed that we believe growth this year on the aluminum market is going to be around 6%. We took it down a notch, one percentage point from what it used to be, 7%. As you just said, I mean, we believe this decade will be a decade where aluminum demand is going to double. There are good pockets of high growth also here in the U.S. And we've seen that in the aerospace industry, very, very nice. We are seeing it in the U.S. automotive segment, very nice. Uh, and uh, then there are, on the other side, I mean, segments that have come down. We, we've seen the heavy um, truck uh, segment coming down substantially, pretty much worldwide, also here in the U.S. And building and construction, on the commercial building and construction side, there's still very little signs of life there. You know, uh, what, what are your customers precisely telling you? Because we hear so much about how businesses are weighed down by uncertainty. So are they uh, putting in more orders with you or less? Well, uh, it, 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 it is slowing down a little bit uh, on, on some segments and other segments, as I just said, are, are strong. I believe if you look at it on a regional basis, the Eurozone, uh, as uh, we've also seen yesterday from the IMF projections, obviously is in a very difficult spot and, and continues mm -hmm. to slow down. Uh, China has slowed down a little bit. I just spent about a week in China uh, two weeks ago and had a lot of meetings there with customers as well as with uh, high-level government officials. And I could see myself that they are putting in a stimulus program, which is very strongly targeted on the infrastructure side. So I'm confident that we will see growth coming back most likely at the end of the fourth quarter, I believe. And the U.S., as I just said, I mean, is doing a little bit better than what we originally thought it would and very strongly driven by the two strong segments automotive mm -hmm. as well as aerospace for us but how are you factoring your demand forecast in the face of you just mentioned a moment ago the international monetary fund uh, saying today that there are serious risks of a global recession and things are slowing down in china so how can you meet those kind of uh, high demand in the way that you're forecasting well, look, I mean, uh, we, we see our industry that uh, there's a lot of industries that are that are wanting more more aluminum. We see here in the U.S., for instance, the automotive industry. I mean, it's not only growing, but it's also more strongly growing on the aluminum demand side. We see it driven by regulations for lower emissions. At the same time, we see it driven by a stronger customer sensitivity towards uh, fuel efficiency and these two things come together and bring a substantial amount of aluminum growth substituting steel against aluminum and that's going to make it make it more fuel efficiency and at the same time keep it safe you know that's what we're seeing in many many of right. the end markets as well as in as well as in the packaging industry where you see the sustainability i mean uh, aluminum is infinitely recyclable you throw it away a can and it comes back 60 days later mm -hmm. as a new can that really very much helps us mm -hmm. All right, we're going to have to leave it there. Klaus, good to get your insights on what's going on around the world. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Very and uh, we've been speaking with Klaus Kleinfeld, CEO of Alcoa. And we have a technical analysis of Alcoa shares on the website. You'll find it on the blogs at nbr.com.